Hi. In today's Hotshot video, we're going to talk about how to create a user parameter and how to set up a condition for that parameter. So we've got the whole wizard processes here on the tree. If you right click on this, you can open the current one. You can create a new one. You can open, you can delete and customize. If you want to work on the one that you currently have set, you can simply double click here and it opens up that process. Now, depending on where you want to work in this, you can right click and add a new process, edit an existing process, copy it, rename it, delete it, so on and so forth. For today's video, we're just going to go into the simple hole. So I'm going to double click on this and we're going to work on the spot drill for the simple holes. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to do edit and we want to work with the tool diameter. Now, when you go into the select for the tool, you will see that in the process, you have the ability here to pull a drop down and you can set either a user defined parameter, a part parameter, a whole wizard parameter that comes from SolidWorks, or you can set up functions or in the edit view, you can just type in whatever you want to type in. Let's talk about a user defined parameter. What is that? Well, in this case, we have spot drill diameter, but I'm going to set up a new one. So I'm going to cancel out of this. And in the process, we have this list of used parameters. Notice we also have unused parameters here, ones that are not being used. If we want to add a new parameter, we simply give it a name. I'm going to call this one Ken's, don't use spaces, use underscores. Ken's spot drill diam. And I'm going to add that. Now that's a part of this new unused parameters. I can go here and set how I want to do this. In this case, I want to build a condition. Now there's a lot of things to do in here. And I'm going to, instead of building this on the fly with you, I'm going to take you into one that's already been built and we're going to talk about it. But in these expressions, when we drop this down, know that you can pick user defined parameters. So within a user defined parameter, you can reference another user defined parameter. You can pick whole wizard parameters. You can pick geometry references and so forth. When we pick whole wizard parameters, one of the things you're going to see is the entire list of parameters that come through the API from the CAD system. So let's take a look at how one was built. Let's go ahead and come back up here and look at the spot drill diameter, which is the one that I'm using. In the spot drill diameter, let's take a look at this condition. Notice what I did here. If the spot drill chamfer diameter, that's another user parameter that I built, is equal to or less than 0.2, we're talking an inch here, then I want to use a 250 diameter or a quarter inch spot drill. Else if it is greater than 0.2 and it is less than or equal to 350 thousandths, then I want to use a 375 or 3 eighths diameter spot drill. And you can just keep adding these else ifs all the way down here to create the condition that you want to define for calculating the diameter of the spot drill that you want to use for your operation. Well, I hope this has been helpful and check in with us again for a hotshot video on how to do some more things with the whole wizard processes. Thank you.